August 2006, short and English senior grade. Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. Sir, at the very outset, I would like to express my gratitude to the honorable members who have participated in this debate and who have given concrete suggestions. As the honorable members are well aware, there have been statements both inside and outside the parliament to the effect that a large sum of money due to the government is locked up in litigation. As a matter of fact, it has also been stated in certain circles that the government are sleeping over the matter and that no serious action is being taken to collect those amounts. I would like to tell them that the government are taking drastic action to collect the amount due to the government. Sir, I would like to bring to the notice of the honorable members that a sum of rupees 1400 crores is involved in the cases pending before the various high courts and a sum of rupees 700 crores is involved in the cases pending before the Supreme Court of India. There was representation that the government should come up with a solution in order to clear the pending cases. It has also been brought to the notice of the government that the high courts in some of the states have given conflicting verdicts which have come in the way of the administration and have also put the trade and business into difficulty. We have to find a solution for all these problems. We have therefore proposed to set up an appellate tribunal which will deal with the revenue matters exclusively. As the honorable members are aware, our high courts in various states of the country have to deal with so many matters including the revenue matters. As such, they are not in a position to dispose of the cases coming before them within a short time. So, we have thought of coming before this house with this bill containing a proposal to set up an appellate tribunal. I therefore request all the honorable members to bear in mind the history that lies behind the setting up of the tribunal. In this connection, I want to tell the honorable members that this is a measure for speeding up justice. In fact, it will help trade and business as also the administration to ensure speedy disposal of cases which are pending for a long time in various high courts. Today, the resources have a vital role to play in our economy. They are required for our various developmental activities. As an honorable member rightly pointed out, if revenues which are due to the government and through the government to the nation are held up because of the pending cases before the courts, it will create difficulties. It has been brought to the notice of the government by members of parliament and even by people outside parliament that when businessmen go to the high courts, the revenue due to the government gets locked up. As such, the government will have to come up with a definite solution. Sir, if you take into consideration all these aspects, you will realize that it is in the interests of trade as also the administration to have a tribunal exclusively dealing with revenue matters. With this objective in mind, we have come up with this bill for setting up a tribunal. I appreciate the concern expressed by an honorable member that we should come up with clear legislation and there should not be any deficiency. I admire this thorough knowledge about constitutional points. I assure him that our law ministry has taken care of this. 
letter dated 2nd December 2005 from John and Brothers to Mrs. Smith and Sons, Patel Road, Chennai. Dear Sirs, we are in receipt of your letter of 20th November. We invite your attention to our letters in the matter of settlement of our claims for the damages sustained by our goods during transport. You have not replied to our letter asking you to pay the amount due to us. Your local representative delivered the goods in a damaged condition during the month of October and as you will observe from the certificates, he examined only some items but left the other items unchecked. He also inspected the goods and stated that he would send a report to your company. We had to prepare a list of all damaged goods together with their estimated value and prefer a claim at your local office in Bangalore before sending a notice through our lawyer. Even though we had asked your company to come and inspect the goods within a fortnight, no action has been taken in the matter. In the circumstances, it was presumed that the company had no intention to conduct an inspection of the damaged goods and therefore, in all fairness, it was hoped that the company had accepted our claim for the damages. In this case, we have insured the goods and it is therefore necessary to survey the damages at once and compensate the loss. Yours faithfully.